Oh, Lord. I don't think this is a good look, y'all. I don't think this is a good look at all. I mean, we this this is not very good from what I'm seeing. And I'm just saying, uh, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and help them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. It'll make it easier. Let the children laugh. Remind us how we used to be. Everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. I never found anyone who fulfilled my needs. A lonely place to be. And so I've learned to depend on me. Hey, y'all, I, I, I'm just trying to kill a little time because this article is so ratchet. It's really scary. I'm going to let the news go ahead and um, uh, uh, do it because I can't do it no justice. From what I'm seeing, this is probably one of the worst stories I see because it can't lead to nothing good. Um. I mean, you got toddlers out here telling the police, shut up, bitch. Toddler swings at Minnesota cops executing a murder warrant in lawless St. Paul where crime has soared since the killing of uh, George Floyd. This footage shows a young child, he's a toddler, actually hitting and cursing the police officers last week. The cops were on site to conduct a search warrant for a murder suspect when they came across some kids with no clothes on but underwear, barefoot, I mean, this it's like Johnny Hunter in the barefoot game. Uh, they identified the boy, uh, the unidentified boy punched, kicked, and cursed and threw rocks at the police. Told him, get out of here, bitch. Now, y'all, that's unacceptable. First of all, your kids shouldn't be talking to adults like that, let alone the police. And, and this has got to be, this right here, it can't end up nothing, nothing good. No ways. A lot of y'all think it's funny. A lot of y'all think, yeah, they should be trained to do stuff. No, they should Because it's going to get their asses killed before they're 10 years old. Uh, he told the police to shut the fuck up and um, call him a bitch. And then he turned to the other cop and made fun of his ugly ass shoes. While other barefoot and barely dressed kids stood around him, the more disturbing commentary. Oh. Hey, stop it! Oh. Uh, was was even more disturbing. What sounds like an adult male who called the black police officer Oreo head. Um, this is not how we get done stuff done, people. This is how you get yourself killed and your kids killed. This, this is not how it gets done. Somebody needs to tell y'all that this is not how you do, you do it. Um, and I know how frustrating it can be. We get to the point where we're eating on ourselves. And um, the police are occupied force in our communities. But we can't train our toddlers to go out there and try to fight police. Because they'll put a bullet in them too. They really will. They'll put a bullet in them. I mean, this is this this really kind of disgusting. The children continue to pummel the police with their tiny little fists, while police officers could be trying to calm scene, trying to calm them down. They couldn't believe it. The cops could be seen reaching out, but the youngsters continue to lunge and hit them. The officers all managed to show restraint against the toddlers, who were easily kept at bay. You see, you hear that? They showed restraint because they couldn't slap their little asses down. They cussed, berated, and struck police officers with their little baby fists. The video is very disgraceful. It's heartbreaking. It is unsettling to law enforcement 
officers who encounter this behavior daily. And it should be frightening to all of us. It should be embarrassing for leaders of the community who have failed to lead the community toward virtue and morality. Any type. We can do better. We must. Let's stop uh, po playing politics with our children's lives. I do not believe that this is what civil rights leaders wanted us to do for the future of the black community. These children in our community, they do deserve better. I mean, these kids are out here with pampers on and no shoes, no shirts, nothing. Barefoot, just, and fighting police? Y'all, come on, man. This is, this is, this is not good. Not good. They swing it at the police. Trying to fight them. They not playing. I don't know if y'all saw it, but if you did, look at the Daily Mail. And that's where the article was taken from. I'm going to see if I can put a link in the description. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at this stuff, but I, I, I need y'all to, uh, check this out. And it, it, it is such a horrible, it's such a horror. It's, the article is by James Gordon. And, um, you know, it's kind of scary what you're looking at. All right. I don't know if you've seen it, but if you haven't, you need to take a look at it. I'll see you in the next video.